Um, in this one, as you can see, I have an Apple display here. Going what we're going for, what we're going to start with, I should say. Um, this is the back and the hinge. Let me highlight these for us. That's everything that I was using. And okay. So if we go in, we can look and see here what, what we got going on. We have this hinge here, and it wraps around, and it comes down like this, and comes out, and it flows down into here, and of course it tapers at the end, the Apple Cinema displays do. Okay. Now this is a rough draft. Here's the picture of a hinge. As you can see, it's got this little thing sticking out here on the back that goes into the display itself. On the newer ones, it don't have those, but mine does, so we're going to model it. Okay, and you can see how it kind of tapers, gets bigger at the bottom and smaller at the top. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go for that. We're going to try to build that hinge today, and we're going to go on with it in later videos. And like I said right here, we're going to build the whole thing. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out, go to my basics tab, get a cylinder, and I'm going to say, I want to give it a, I don't want it too many sides, so let's bring it down to about 12 sides or 8 sides, I'll say 12 sides. And let me draw out a thing here like this. Now I'm not going to worry about size accuracy. Okay. Now, both of these are the same now. As you can see over here in the radius, 1.95. It's meters, but we're not worried about that. We're worried, you know, I'm just worried about modeling this. I'm not worried about scale. So let's draw this out like this and start creating our basic shape for the hinge. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to work on our corners. I think that might be the best route to go with. So let's select this polygon, go into polygon mode, select that polygon, and this end polygon. Hit the B key for bevel, click to activate the tool. Now sometimes when you're working close, you can't see, you have to use your advanced handles. You need to go in and turn your advanced handles on so you can work at them from up here. Okay, so we're going to bevel this in like this. I'm going to shift click and I'm going to bevel it in again. Like so. Then I'm going to hit the space bar to drop the tool. Now we got that. Let's go in here and cut up our mesh now a little bit. Let's go to our mesh edit tab, edge slice, and let's slice an edge from here to here. Spacebar drops a tool. I'm going to reactivate it and click split in the middle. Actually, I'm not going to click split in the middle. I'm going to click here. Then I'm going to click split in the middle and click on that line I just created. Uncheck split in the middle and put it down there. Okay, now let's go to our vert mode. Select this vert. I don't want to do them individually. I want to do them at the same time. So let's go ahead and cut this mesh up too so we'll cut here we'll cut here we'll cut here split in the middle we'll cut here okay we'll select this vert and we'll select this vert we'll hit the B key for bada bing and we will bevel these things in now why isn't that one bevel in there? Oh, I see. I got a linear fall off tool. I'm going to remove all my tools. Now I'm going to select my vertex. That's what was causing me problems. Wondered what was causing me problems. Let's bevel those now. Okay. Now, as you can see, they bevel out. Now, let's go to polygon mode and let's select those. And let's bevel 
it in one more time shift click and let's pull them back in like that okay now let's do go back to polygon mode now let's select all these polygons let's hit the B key for bevel click to activate it and let's move these back like so I'm gonna select my edges I'm gonna select these middle edges hit the W key and move them back as well okay now I'm gonna go in select my loop slice count of two symmetry I'm gonna make it three and first of all we gotta select our polygons we want so go to polygon mode and I'm gonna select right through here and there's that cut then I'm gonna select up through here there's that cut now when I push tab you see that shape holds really well so now we need to do this side right so let's select we'll take it back in like before by beveling it then we'll go to our edge mode and select these edges hit the W key and let's pull them back in a little bit further than the lip let's go to polygon mode and now let's make our loop slices right through here like that now let's do one through there <laughs> now we need still need to do one more loop slice which is right through here Okay, I think that about does that. Yeah, now that end's holding its shape. Let's pull out here. Okay, now we need to pull out our little hinge on the back. So let's go ahead and do that. First, I'm going to loop slice this bad boy with a symmetry of two. And we'll bring it in a little bit like this. Maybe to about 15%. There we go. Now, let's go back to uh, polygon mode and let's pull out our hinge. Let's say right here. And let's pull this out. There. Now, let's go to our edge mode and let's select this top edge and pull it out to even by hitting the W key and adjusting it, pull it out even to be with everything else there. Okay. Now, we can go to polygon mode and do a couple loop slices through here. Like so. Just so it will hold its shape. Still need maybe one more. through here okay now we got our little hinge sticking out that's gonna stick through our display okay so this was done real fast but I want to go in and touch it up and on and stuff and and our next video first let me go ahead and um make sure this is all centered okay so now we have our beginning of a hinge for our Apple display we can try to uh, facet it if you want to, to give it a little more blocky feel or let's go to our properties we've got a subdivision level of two let's make the subdivision level three and then subdivide it again and that kind of helps a little bit it's not really necessary because we're gonna freeze it and when we freeze it actually let's go ahead and do that now let's undo that subdivided I'm gonna go over here and make a duplicate copy I'm gonna call this hinge low res and I'm gonna hide that okay so now we have this low res copy that I can always go back to if I want to now I'm gonna take this mesh here this original hinge I'm gonna say rename it I'll call this one hinge. 
high res. Okay, and this is the one we'll use. And if if I, if I need to modify something, I'll go back to my low res and have it'll still be in my project. And I'm going to do this with every element I make. I keep a high res version and a low res version, and I keep my low reses in all folders to themselves. Okay, because I'm going to freeze this. I want you to watch real close what happens here when I freeze this. So okay, boom! Look at that. It really it really um, cut that mesh up uniformly and. Um, Give it a lot of polygons to work with. Look at that. It's just wonderful. I love the freeze command. When I'm done with something, I will freeze it. So there's our hinge. When we get done, we're going to go on with our base that it's connected to. Then we'll go on and, and do our display. So I'll see you in the next video.